What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you guys for being and staying tuned today. As you see in the title below, I will be doing a Nikon B500 review. This is not a, an unboxing video, okay? I did an unboxing video for this exact camera, but I did not like the content, so I deleted that content. And I'm coming back with you guys to basically let you guys know the features it has on this camera, the different qualities and the characteristics I really like about this camera. But besides that, let's hop right into the video. Let's get it. All right, so first off, let me say this. Now that I have this camera, you will not be seeing any more phone quality videos on YouTube, okay? No more 360 or 720 pixels, um, 1080 pixels all day. This camera is amazing by far, okay? Um, Coolpix B500 has stereo sound. Um, it has a 40 X wide op optical zoom. When you turn it on, as you see, when you turn it on um, and you leave it off for a good amount of time, it turns off by itself so it can preserve the battery. Look how far it goes though. Right there, look how far it goes up. It's pretty far if in person, it might look short, but it's pretty far when this comes when it comes to actually zooming in and out. It has two zoom in, zoom in and out buttons for some reason. I have to wonder why. I have to make sure why. Um, it has an autofocus button right here next to the zoom in and up zoom out button, where if it's blurry, you easily press that button and it automatically autofocus your camera okay um, this has a screen where it can fold different directions Let's see, like this save your save your just you know taking a picture or making a video you can easily you know tilt it back and forth it can go vertical like this or I mean horizontal I'm sorry like this but the tripod is in the way but the only downfall I have about this camera so far is that when I'm vlogging, I cannot see myself. So I cannot see myself when I'm vlogging. That's the only downfall I have about it. Um, besides that, it's a great camera. Um, it has this NFC function thing where I can connect it to my phone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and easily touch the devices and it can send photos and such videos right there that second okay um, it's also a snap bridge app that I already downloaded my, on my phone pre advanced before I got this camera and um, as, you, as you can see it just turned off okay because I wasn't using it but the snap bridge thing you can control if I'm not mistaken you can control the camera with that app if not that then me that that app is basically for you to um, send the photos right there that second you can also send photos and videos right there at the spot as you're recording the recording with your camera um, it has the strap little metal part right here on the side on the left hand side of the camera as you can see the cool pixel 500 strap as you see yeah right there yeah right there and it like stops right there by my chest area so that should be good Pretty lightweight compared to other cameras that I reviewed or that, that I researched. Okay, it's pretty lightweight. Um, of course, it's a Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, function camera. Right here is where you can connect the HDMI cord, your Bluetooth cord that comes with it, so you can connect to your computer and send photos and videos. Um, has all these different functions right here. Um, it has the flashlight right here. I like this. That's that's cool. It has an amazing grip right here, so you can put your whole palm right here. Amazing grip, so you can never drop this thing. That's it on the outside of the camera. Um, I love the design. I love the color. Right here at the bottom of it is where you put your batteries. Four AA batteries and. A lot of people, it was some, I guess, some not, a lot of people didn't like the batteries, okay? But I think I like the batteries because save your vlogging and it runs out of battery life. And you have an extra four pair of batteries and I can easily place them right there 
at that exact time. I don't have to charge them um, or have to wait for my camera to be charged. I can e it can easily be ran if I have a spare battery, spare um, battery pack. And I mean, I can easily buy a charger so I can charge the batteries, but it just depends on how I run this camera. They said it takes 600 picks before the camera actually goes out of battery life. Okay, but I mean, of course, I got to test it out. This is the this review, this video that I'm doing right now, I just got this camera, literally, probably an hour and a half ago. Okay, so, um, yes, I just got it, but right now, I'm about to show you guys what's actually inside, you know, when it comes to the menu and what it comes with, so, let's get it. Okay, guys, so let me turn it on, um, and before I forget, this is the camera lens cap, so where you can pit it on here for safety won't crack the screen or anything I gotta figure out how to place that on there um, this is the camera itself I apologize if it's a little bright but hey it should be fine okay so here's the menu it has all these different functions if you can see image mode white balance um, all these different ones autofocus mode AF area mode you go to the movie option it has movie options Autofocus mode again, movie VR, wind noise reduction. I'm sure that's pretty cool. And it may not require me to actually purchase the mic. Um, it has frame rate. It has airplane airplane mode, connect to smart device. You know, all the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. And then it also has to restore default settings. Um, the time zone is a setup, basically. Um, AF assist, digital zoom, monitor settings, date stamp. I already set up that stuff. Let's see, let's see. I don't know what this DISP button is, but I guess we just have to. Oh, I guess it takes everything off. I think that means this place, the DISP button. I guess it takes everything off the screen, so when you record, it's you know clear. This is this button right here. It's the record me. You actually see the videos that you just recorded right there at the spot. Um, this is the flash button. It says raise the flash. Flash button and it has auto, auto with red eye reduction and full flash and then slow sync flash for portraits taken against a backdrop of night or evening scenery basically. Um, the delete button where you delete anything that you might didn't want when you recorded it. Um, the time button, you can set it to 5, 2, or 10 seconds. You have the brightness, which is going to be my favorite part, okay? You know how black I am, so, you know, if I'm in the dark or, you know, it's a bright day outside, I can easily adjust the brightness. You know, it has vividness, the hue, the active day lightning. And you can reset everything if you didn't like it. So exit this right here, mic micro mode for photos not taken at short range. Self-explanatory, okay. Um, Self-explanatory. But besides that, um, this right here is some settings right here where you can turn into auto mode, short movie show, which is going to be another favorite part for me because. I can um, play and pause the film that I'm creating at the spot and not create different clips. Um, smart portrait, creative mode, sports, back lightning, night portrait, night landscape, portrait again, scene auto selector, auto mode once again. Besides that guys, I thank you once again for being and staying tuned. If this be my first review, you know, I accept the feedback. So if you think there's something that I needed to address in this video as far as me doing reviews, because I will be doing many more reviews of anything that I might get that is new, um, please comment down below and let me know. But make sure you guys live like how you're supposed to, and I will be coming back with plenty more bangers to come. See you guys.